Hello loves, how is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I don't know what I'm gonna do this video about, what I'm gonna be talking about. I just pushed record and that's it. I'm totally out of it. I'm tired, the weather is like gloomy and crappy. Last night I went to see Alice Cooper, who is so fucking awesome. <laughs> He's so good live, so good. I mean like so good. I saw him like 20 years ago with my mother and my grandmother and two friends that were friends at the time no longer friends but it was an amazing show like 20 years ago it was so funny and amazing and just he was great the whole like time we had was insane like it was funny and so I really wanted to go again since he was coming around and I wanted to take my mother and my daughter because I went with my grandmother and my mother I was like I want my daughter to go see Alice Cooper with her grandmother because my mom and my my mom and my grandma would go see him like years before I was even thought of and they would always go and they would go up front and like they're kick ass and they would always just I don't know they loved Alice Cooper now even my um my grandfather threw <laughs> fun fact my grandfather threw um Ozzy Osbourne out of out of his house because he said he was a bum he's like get that fucking bum out of my house and my grandmother's sister's like he's not a bum he's a rock star and he's like he's a fucking bum get him out of my house and like literally thought he was a bum and kicked him out of his house so I don't know like my family has interesting stories and they do interesting things so I just wanted to I wanted my daughter to experience that and it was fun we were in the crowd we were on the floor there was always a pit which I appreciate I love seats seats are great but like there's no experience like a pit and I have serious anxiety, so I'm always, like, I get anxious to go. That is so fucking annoying. People are doing construction, and I just want to, like, hammer them. But <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm sorry. I don't really mean that, but that's annoying. Um, yeah. Anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about because I get distracted so easily. But, yeah. Okay, anyways, yeah, I like the crowds, but I do get anxiety. I mean, anxiety, I was going to say, I get anxiety when I go to the damn grocery store, never mind, like a concert. But for some reason, concerts, I just feel a little bit, it's like a safe spot for me, even though it's like, it is hard. It's a safer spot. It's easier for me to go to a concert than a lot of other things. I don't know why, I just, I don't know. So I like the floor, and I will push someone out of my way if I need to. Like, I'm a pushy little broad when it comes down to it. But it was it was a nice crowd besides there was a couple like really grumpy people I always like wonder I think this is the thing with Connecticut there will always be somebody that acts like they have been forced into this like the, there was a couple guys standing around and they were like this and you wonder like you're not being paid to be here and you're definitely not forced I don't see shackles I don't see a gun to their head I really don't know what their fucking problem is but they just didn't and then one guy like my mom was behind him and my mother is like an older lady she has a cane and she will shove it up your ass if she needs to like she will hit you with the cane be careful like she's old but she's mean and like he wouldn't move like he was being so like this is my spot kind of like you could tell you could just kind of feel that energy and it's like he had all this space in front of him and he just wouldn't move up and my mother is like giving me this look like with her cane like she's gonna whap him we're awful. I mean, if you don't know me, you must be watching this like this person. What's wrong with her? But, but no, we're really nice people. Just we, we mean well. But I'm like, dude, dude, can, can you move up? And he moves up a little bit. And I'm like, thank you. You know, and I'm being really nice. I'm like, thank you. And I'm seriously dead appreciative. I'm like, you know, I appreciate it. Just move up. Stop being a dick. You know what I mean? Like, and then he moves up just a little bit but then I swear he like moves back again so we're looking and I'm like this is not worth it like I have totally been banned from places for fighting guys <laughs> like, because they got on my nerves I know I sound terrible I shouldn't even be putting this out there but I mean well okay but I'm like dude so my daughter like I love her she is my kid like that is blood you could tell <laughs> she's just like you know what excuse me and she goes and stands just in front of him she just takes that if you're gonna leave this open space I mean we are on a floor in a concert there's you don't leave like all this open space you leave personal space but you don't leave like enough for like five personal spaces when you're on a crowd you're in a pit make room go up make room for the people behind you to get closer to see the stage don't be an asshole at a concert moral of the story 
he was being an asshole. But I was nice, and I ignored him, and I looked at Alice Cooper the whole time, and he was right there, and I got the perfect view. And everybody else seemed really nice. I mean, I don't know. You would think that you'd be happy going to an event like that. Don't know. I don't know with people. Sometimes you're just miserable doing the happiest things. <laughs> I digress. What else? Oh, my God, my hair. Like, I'm dead with this hair. Like, it's, you could, it's growing in places I didn't even think I was losing hair. <laughs> that shampoo really has been helping me so well. Right now, I mean, I just woke up and my hair is a hot mess because it's not brushed and I just woke up, but literally it is so more compliant. The curls are so nicer. It's just, I can't believe this. I'm so impressed with this. And then I didn't realize that this was all gone. Like this hair was not there and it's now there. And I'm like, wow, where did it go? And I didn't even notice it was gone. And I'm loving Monette. It's only been like, what, a month? I don't know. I have to check when I did the last video. But holy shit. Holy shit. Taki. Mushrooms. I'm impressed, okay? I'm impressed. Of course, I always like make videos looking like I just rolled out of bed. Because guess what? Guess what? I didn't just roll out of bed. Truth be known. Um, what else? I'm waiting for my package in the mail. Kylie Cosmetics. I am growing a crazy obsession with the Kardashians and the Jenners. Not all the Jenners, just some of the Jenners. But, I don't know, I ordered her high, her highlight palette because she just had her baby. And at first I was like, what, this girl is having a baby? Like, this child is having a child, you know, like the mother in me. I mean, I went to school with 13-year-olds who were pregnant, but, like, this is shocking to me somehow. But, but anyways, I'm like, I'm like, now, you know what, I can't knock it. I can't hate it because, first off, when I was, well, I became a mother at 22, planned to be a mother at 22 didn't plan it like five years in advance if you would have said five years before that you're gonna have a child at 22 I would have said you're out your mind I don't like children I'm never having a child but I ended up really wanting my daughter when I met Eric I just was like I'm gonna have this man's child I need to have his child I want his child I don't even know if I want him but I know I want his child that was kind of like where I was where I was at with that and yeah I, I was 22 so how can I not go out? she's 20 like that's two years she's she's well off she's fine she got her shit together it seems she doesn't seem like too much of a hot mess so I, you know I gotta say with these Kardashians people talk shit right some of the stuff I don't understand like they'll say you know you know if you think that they're ugly that's like a matter of opinion ugly is a matter of opinion there's no such thing because I think they're all beautiful. They all look the same as they always have, which I appreciate. I like seeing pictures of someone when they're a kid and then when they're older and you're like, yeah, that, they look the same. So I definitely see that in them. I think that they're, they're beautiful, beautiful women. Their genes, wow, great genes. But that's a personal view. However, something that's not so much a personal view, more fact, I mean, it's more, I guess it's a personal view because I'm not in the family. How do I know? They could be like real assholes. But from the outside personal view, I guess it's a personal view, the outside, what looks to be a fact is that they are some ride and die mofos. Like that family is so ride and die. Like they stick by everybody. Like if you're part of the family, if you become part of that family, they seem like they stick by until they just, you just have broken every every bridge step there is you know what I mean like you could only do so much before a person just says bye but it seems like they really stick around and I'm like damn I wish my family was like ride or die like that just like was there through all I don't know they just seem like a ride or die family I kind of like it but I'm waiting for my palette this town I'm ready to move. I don't know where I want to move, though. I don't think I want to live out of Connecticut. I don't know. Being born and raised in Connecticut is a weird thing because it's ridiculously, like, expensive. And it's, it's almost, like, not even feasible to live. It's just kind of funny. Like, you know, $6 for a box of cereal and $5 for milk. And I don't know how anyone survives. <laughs> but... I don't know where else I would want to live if I really don't. Of course, I haven't traveled very much. I So how the hell would I know? I've, like, been down south, and that's about it. And I don't... I couldn't live down south. I just couldn't. I now, no offense. Like, I think it's a great place to freaking visit. Like, I loved going to Tennessee and visiting Tennessee. And I thought North Carolina was beautiful. But as for, like, the... It's too far back. A lot of it's too far back for me. Like, I'm too, like, rainbow flag in my front yard type of person. And, like... I just can't I have to like it 
I can't live somewhere like that and I think too much is it's very closed off in a lot of the places not everywhere and not everybody there are amazing people from down south like I hardcore love some people down south like heart my whole heart and soul but living there I just no no offense a lot of people wouldn't want to live in this shitty ass state either but it's my kind of it's my shitty ass state you know what I mean like that's that's what I think that's what does it but I need a change like I need a change and I need to get going on that road to change and I just don't know how to get the plow moving you know what I mean like I'm just oh my god I hate change it gives me anxiety in the worst fucking way ever but it's such a good thing so I don't know why I'm so freaked out about it I need to make this shorter because I don't know if I could even upload how much I can upload on my iPad so I'm gonna cut this out soon but another thing is I'm going to a yoga class tomorrow, okay? If you made it this far, just keep on listening, right? I will keep you updated on this shit. I, I, this is, okay, this is a challenge for me. I took yoga, a yoga class years ago. I mean, maybe five plus years ago. I don't even know how long it was. And um, I still have the yoga mat sitting there. <laughs> um, I had an anxiety attack, a really, really bad anxiety attack during one of the like, calm down meditation at the end of the class and it was just like a little town class that they had the town used to throw on yoga now the town doesn't really do shit but that's besides the point they um they used to do yoga at the one of the like elementary schools at night and so I just I went with a friend and we went and we tried it you know healthy thing good thing to do whatever massive anxiety attack like bad to the point where I don't know something like opened up inside of me I started having like revelations and thoughts and memories and a oh, holy shit I was flooded by like terribleness laying there in an elementary school fucking gymnasium and it's dark and I smell it's probably because it was an elementary school that was probably totally like PTSD flashback you just triggered yourself and I didn't notice that and I think I just realized that at this very moment so thank you for that but I was laying there on this elementary school floor like <gasps> and just crying and I had to get up and go into the bathroom and collect myself and it took a while and I don't know how many I don't know like the people that were doing the yoga I don't think noticed because they were in their little trance and that was fine like good for them I'm glad that made me happy <laughs> like but the yoga teacher definitely noticed and I noticed <laughs> and she, afterwards she's like you know you're kind of I'm, I'm fine I'm fine okay bye never I think it was the last class anyways I don't know I never went back again I never did yoga again I haven't done yoga since I it just freaked me out like I'm just like yoga is not for me my mind is fucked up it doesn't want to relax but now I'm realizing like I need to take control of this mind I need to it needs to relax it you, you got to because you're gonna die otherwise <laughs> but you have to control it so I'm trying to control it more and I found a class at this place it's in um if you're from around Connecticut it's in New Haven I love New Haven I think it's like I love cities it's gnarly New Haven is kind of turning into a really it's always been a gnarly city but they have so much shit going on so they have this great place where they have the salt tanks if you know me if I if you if you've seen my videos or you knew anything you know I did the um, salt deprivation tank so awesome you lay in like a thousand pounds of Epsom salt water you float you sit in the dark tank for an hour and you relax your brain pretty much and just relax your body your muscles everything relaxes in the salt Epsom tank the salt deprivation chamber pretty much I don't know it was, it's kind of amazing I'm torn in between it because it is a little bit like hard for me to do that but it's good for me so that's why I like it but the same place has yoga classes I know I'm like I talk way too much I keep going thank you for the ones who love my talking I love you guys so much and Anyways, they have a yoga class going on, and it is for people with depression and anxiety. It is a two-hour yoga class. Hold on. I talk too much. My throat hurts. It is a two-hour yoga class, and it is pretty, pretty much teaching you how to do yoga when you have depression and anxiety. And I was like, holy shit, I think this class was made for me. And the chick that um, does it seems really cool. I kind of looked up her shit, and she looks like a cool person, which is really important because energy is everything to me. <coughs> but, um... Yeah, I'm like, you know what, maybe that will help me learn how to use yoga. Because maybe it is harder for people to do yoga when they have depression and anxiety. Maybe it's not just me. And I thought I was a crazy person who has anxiety and anxiety attacks in the middle of the floor in an elementary school yoga class. <coughs> it's too dry. It's too dry. I have a heater. I have the heater on. I should have turned it off. I don't know if you can hear that. It's cold. And I'm on a little outside porch. So it's really cold <laughs> so I put a little heater out here and I always get comments about my porch but 
not gonna go there so lots of love lots of blessings thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking around and i'll see you all later i'll keep you updated on my yoga bye